in this video we are going to create a solid model of angle bearing in CATIA. So this is the part drawing of angle bearing we are going to model today in our CATIA software. The length of the part is 103 and the breadth is 65 and the thickness of the part is 25 in total. So let's get started. Here first go to file, select the part option and name the file and click OK. Start from XY plane which is the top view and click on sketch and we are going to select the center rectangle so that our object will be symmetry. Exit the sketch to check the orientation. Now this is the very important step. Every time you start making a part, check the orientation first if it is as per our drawing part drawing. Now go back in the sketch and give the dimensions. The length is 103. Click OK and keep the breadth which is 65. Now our part is fully constrained. You can exit the sketch and pad it. The total thickness is 16 which is 25 minus 9. We are going to make the bottom part next. So select the left face and click on sketch. Now again use the center rectangle to make the bottom part which is having the length of 33 and the thickness is 9. Now make these two edge, edge of the sketch and the edge of the part coincidence. Give the relation. Give the dimensions and make this sketch fully defined. When your sketch is complete, exit the sketch and pad it. You can select the pad option up to plane and select the opposite side of the plane to pad, it, pad this object. So whenever you make the changes next time, the bottom part will also make the changes accordingly. Next we are going to make an axis or upper semicircle which is at a distance of 33. So let's go back to Katya model. Now select this face, click on sketch, draw a line and Keep it at a distance of 33 from the as per our diagonal. Now this is going to be our axis, center axis, which is vertical. Now on this axis we are going to create a plane, so select a plane. Keep this sketch as our rotation axis. Select the plane type as angle normal plane and select the plane reference as zx plane or the right face. The angle is 30 degree. And the plane is perpendicular to the central axis, which is 60 degree in the diagram. So 30 degrees will give us the appropriate plane in which we want to draw. Now sketch on the plane, draw a circle. And make sure the circle is coincident to the central axis. Give the radius as 90. The center of the circle coincident to the top edge and draw a line and make this circle as semicircle so when we pad we don't have the bottom part use trim command to delete the bottom part select the quick trim so this is the quickest way to trim now if you see the bottom line is in white color now we have to make this fully constrained in order to do so we have to make this line coincident with the top edge. Now it is fully constrained, exit the sketch and pan this one. Select up to plane and select the face and select the second direction by clicking more and select up to plane and select the front, front face. Now click OK, the object is paired as we want as it is in the diagram. You can see axis line in the middle, we can hide that line go to the tree diagram and click on right click on sketch and click hide show now the axis line is hidden next we have to draw a hole so select hole command click on the surface now make sure you deselect the normal to surface option and check that and 
to click on position sketch and now we can make our hole concentric to the outer semicircle now when it is concentric exit the sketch give the radius and make it up to next click ok next step you have to give fillet if you cannot find fillet command you can take the fillet command from insert tab click on insert click on edge fillet select the fillet edges give the radius and click ok click on hold command give the radius and position the sketch click on position the sketch make the hole coincident to the horizontal axis and the distance from the right as right side edge is 14 mm now our hole is fully constrained you can exit the sketch and click okay now we have to draw another hole on the right side now what we can do is simply mirror this hole as our sketch is symmetrical we can just mirror the hole on the opposite side now our angle viewing is completed if you have any suggestions just make sure to leave the comment below and if you find my video helpful hit that like button and subscribe thank you for watching guys until next time